These days, everybody and their mother has been opening car accessory shops. But in Baltimore, there's a shop that hit the scene way before West Coast Customs. That legendary place is No Limit Incorporated. Let's go. What up, Hoop TV? I'm Dave, owner of No Limit. Little shop in Baltimore, just trying to do our thing. Come on inside, I want to show you all the latest and greatest, all the hot stuff, what's coming next. The main part of our business, probably 95%, is rims. That's what everybody wants. As soon as they get the car, they gotta have wheels. That's what makes a car. Stereo comes after that, interior, paint, all the little accessories, whatever you need. When I first opened, it was hard because it takes money to start a business like this, and especially to get a building this big. I just went to the landlord and told him my story. I was like, look, I wanna try to do something. Like, here's where my goals are. I'm real interested in getting this accomplished. She felt sorry for me and was like, look, I'll give you three or four months, no rent. Just go in there, see what you can get done. I called a couple of places that would sell me displays real cheap. Put like two wheels up on the wall, a bunch of catalogs, you know what I mean? Got the carpet put in. And just every time I sold something, took that money, try to buy another wheel, try to buy. Now we got 300 wheels on display, 200 sets in stock. I ride around with something big enough to lay you down on this that This is my SL. I know you see a lot of people with them. They're starting to be like belly buttons. Everybody has one. So I had to make sure to switch mine up. It's got the fully equipped Fabtech kit with the exhaust coming out the center. Your SL don't have that, I promise you that. Five inch lip in the rear. I lowered it down an inch. I got the side skirts molded. That way it doesn't really look like it has a kit. The hot thing these days is to do a car up, but have it still look stock. Dudes don't want to get a brand new car. You give it back to them after a month of work, and it's rattling and falling apart and not looking stock. So when we do cars, we make sure it looks stock. Larry Hughes and Antonio Freeman and Sam Cassell was in here a couple of days ago. Like we got a we got a small amount of celebrities, but like the little dudes that come in here are the dudes that I care about. The guys that like struggle for that money and want to make their car look better because I can feel like five years ago I was in the same situation. So like I understand like what it's like to want something so bad. So like they're the ones I try to focus on and try to give them ideas and try to give them deals. Hey Tony, can you back this Magnum up? This here's an 05 Magnum. I'm sure everybody's seen them. A lot of people are hooking them up. This cat grabbed it, drove it right from the dealership to me. It's got like 15 miles on the dash. Took the wheels off, ripped the whole entire interior out. He wants the interior out of a Benz on there. He just wants something different. He said he just wants something he don't have to worry about when he goes to the mall. He don't need to leave a $150,000 car in the parking lot. He wants something that he can just hook up and be comfy in. Since we're throwing a full interior in this, it's not a big deal to tear the seats out, cut holes in them. That way, once this is all finished and the new leather's on, we'll have the PS2 behind the armrest. You don't have to worry about theft. Seats up, fold the armrest down, you have the PS2 coming through. Makes it nice for long trips. You got kids, whatever, it's a hot look. A lot of the success, like people come in, they, they're like, damn, how'd you do it, how'd you do it? Like, I, I couldn't stand here for one minute and say I could have done it without the guys that work for me. Like, doing $4 million, $5 million in business a year, half of it's probably cash. You gotta have, gotta have a guy at the counter that you can trust, that you know is good with money, you know what I mean? You know that's not gonna get you. The guys in the back, you gotta know when that car goes back there, that it's gonna come out perfect. I don't have to worry about the customer coming back in and being like, this isn't right, that isn't right. Like, I trust them. Like, some dudes got wheel guys, but he takes it serious. Like, you know when you get that on your, on your body for life. This truck's pretty rare. It's a Cadillac Platinum Edition. It comes factory with 20 inch rims, factory with TVs, factory with a chrome grill. So they're trying to mess my business up. Fortunately, we got customers like this that want to get the Platinum and still take everything off of it. We took the 20s off, put 24s. This cat, a lot of people go with like black on black or they don't do that, they go with chrome to where he wanted to be mad different. So he went with black on silver. This car came factory with navigation up front and then two rear entertainment flip downs. That's no good for the driver. So what we do is we take that factory screen and we have it converted to where it can also play DVDs, 
or the satellite. And it's a good look. The whole thing, lower down with the satellite, everything was perfect. Hip hop runs this generation, whether it's every athlete just about, whether it's every car, no matter what song it is, all the clothes that our generation's wearing, I mean, it's hip hop, it's urban, that's what it is. The wheels, it all runs together. You know what I mean? So that's kind of what brought it. All right, Hoops TV, I appreciate you guys coming. My man spent so much money, the least thing I can do is take him out to lunch. You guys don't have to leave, but if you stay here, you gotta buy something. We're out.